what's up guys welcome back today we're going to look at how to achieve this spotlight effect it's a really simple yet effective way of drawing attention to your model Cujo, this base where's the effort man <laughs> start off by cleaning the base cutting off any flashing with a sharp knife you can also sand the rim to help smooth out any imperfections left over from the flashing it might seem a bit like overkill, but I think it's worth it. If you're going to spend ages painting up a model, it would be a shame to put it on a raggedy base. Okay, so to capture the effect we're going for, we want a subtle texture to paint over. And a simple way to achieve this is with some sandpaper. Now this is 600 grit, so it's quite fine. You can experiment with different grains, but I think this is a pretty decent one for our needs. Cut a little piece out so that it's going to cover the surface of the base. I'm not sure why I cut it out from the middle of the paper instead of one of the corners. Probably because I'm a moron. No! Apply a decent amount of super glue onto your base and with a paper clip spread it out over the whole surface. Then I just press it onto the sandpaper and wait for it to dry. Once it dries we're going to trim off the excess so that it's a bit easier to handle and then we'll use a sharp knife to cut a little wedge shape into the paper just enough so that we can get the blade of the knife in there then we'll simply cut around the base I find that this works best if you try to keep the, the flat of the blade pressed against plastic just be careful that you don't cut into the base itself you can also use some of your sandpaper to clean up any little raggedy bits or any excess super glue you should end up with something that looks like this with a nice clean edge all the way around Prime it in any colour you like. I've used some Games Workshop Chaos Black Spray. It's actually a pretty decent primer. Alright, so next we're going to paint the surface with a, a dark blue grey. I've used Scale Colour Graphene Grey, but you can use any dark grey you like. Mix some white into your grey. Now we're going to be doing some dry brushing, so go ahead and grab yourself an old brush. This one here is actually about 20 years old. It's from the old Games Workshop brush set they put out in the 90s. So when you're doing this you want to wipe most of the paint off on a paper towel and then you're just going to work the brush back and forth over the surface and the paint is going to pick out the texture of the sandpaper. Add a little more white and we'll do the same again. First wiping off the excess paint on a paper towel and then working the brush over the surface of the base. Because we're going for a spotlight effect, we want to build up a highlight around that centre point. A good way to do that is by simply using little circular strokes around that middle point. Add some more white and we'll repeat the process, building up that highlight in the middle of the base. Again, mix in a bit more white and repeat the dry brushing. Alright, so we're nearly done now. Um, one more highlight should do it, so just go ahead and mix a little bit more white in there and continue the dry brush around that centre point. There you can see the effects starting to come through now. In order to make the, the spotlight really pop, we're going to add a strong shadow. For that we'll use some Games Workshop Drakenhof Nightshade. It's a really nice dark blue wash, but we're going to be using it like a glaze. Now, we don't want it to go on too dark initially, so what we're going to do is add a small amount of water to thin it down a little. Okay, and we're going to apply that along the edge here. Then we're going to grab a second clean damp brush and draw the edges of the wash away to the sides just by placing the tip of the brush into the edge of the colour and then pulling the bristles away to the sides. As the brush moves away, the paint is going to get thinner and thinner and that's what's going to give you that soft transition. You can see just with that initial application, it already makes a pretty big difference. We'll do the same thing on the other side, first placing the colour along that edge there and then using a second brush to draw it out, letting the edge fade out so that we get a nice transition in the shadow. Notice I'm not trying to do the whole shadow in one go, that's so that I get time to blend out the edges before it starts to dry. If you find this difficult, you can also do it in a more conventional way, just by glazing towards the outer edge of the base like this. So I'm just pulling the glaze over the surface in the direction of the shadow. And I'll do this over a few layers until the outside edge is really quite dark. You should end up with something like this, I think it's a really cool effect. Alright guys, so that is how you do a spotlight base. I hope you give it a try, it is really pretty easy to do. You can experiment with using different colours to get various ambient effects. You don't have to just stick to using grey and blue. A big thanks once again for supporting the channel, I really couldn't do it without you. Stay tuned for more videos. Thanks again. Bye for now.